Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you why sometimes these Nokia displays are failing and showing blank screen on flex displays. Let me show you the first why they are prone to fail. Nokia made this displays uh, maybe 10 or more years ago. Uh, they are cheap and easily available so I used them on flex display to make sure they have enough stocks in the first days of the design but now change to the another display you know maybe but a lot of flex displays has this version of the display so uh, sometimes they are failing and you can easily fix them if you know why they are failing and how to fix it okay first start with the display a display uh, uh, is made out of glass and so has a it's really hard to show but there is small glass co connectors maybe you can see now yeah there's little tabs there they are uh, conductive glass with a special method they are doing this uh, and it's using this zebra connector the flexible rubber conductive connector to contact this glass surface to the PCB okay okay first I will place it yeah it's sitting there and yeah it's also contacting this gold plate surface because of the design it's really hard to align this boat contacts and it's using this little tabs gloves what you, hooks or you can call so yeah when when I install like that this little hooks holding it's in place and adding a pressure to this place and also giving allows to move a little bit to make it aligned okay so sometimes it's just moving because of when you drop it it can move the temperature change also can move this part and they are prone to fail because of just this zebra connector and surface contact so if, if you just move it a bit to rub the surface it will easily align again okay that's the method we will use the first method is really easy hold your device blank screen it's now I fixed it so it's not will not show you the blank screen but just tap the surface to the wooden table and it will most most time it will fix the problem And the display will come. If the tapping the corners method doesn't work, uh, time to open the enclosure. Uh, no worry about that thing because uh, I can fix everything easily. Uh, so if you can, if you break something, just send it to me and I I will fix it. Okay. And fixing yourself will be easier, cheaper, and faster than sending it to me most time i'm doing the same thing just remove the screws okay make sure this wires there so so don't, don't pull like that okay to removing it from mm, it's bad you can pull from here but also you have to push from the button so it will come easily This is the main board. Okay, it's installed the main board. Uh, so first thing you can do, just try to move this thing. It, it, it barely moves. Okay, just just 0.2 millimeter or something, and it's enough to align. So try that when it's on. Okay, it's working so it's hard to show but uh, 
when the display is blank, just try to move this display when it's on, and, and, and it will appear uh, when aligned. Okay. If not, just re pull this hooks tabs or what you call, and you can also remove the display, but you don't have to. Just pull from one side and push it again, and as you can see. When it aligned, it's just yeah, it's appearing here, and yeah, this is the aligned display. If it doesn't happen from that side, just pull from that side. Okay, yeah, it's again. So it's easy to fix. Uh, if you break something, just send it to me, and I I will fix. It's not a problem. Okay. And now time to stop back. Make sure this part yeah it's a bit tricky but If it doesn't work, don't forget, I'm always here to fix this device and it's always free. So see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.